Hello everybody and welcome back. It is once again me, your favorite deputy of Movie Deputy Podcasts, bringing to you the deepest interrogation that I can do on movies and kind of everything about them. Today we are actually going to be starting the Mission Impossible series. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning, back to 1996 when we saw the first Mission Impossible and we met Ethan Hunt and the rest of the team and we're just going to kind of jump in from there. I'm going to go ahead and let you know I did give this movie a guilty rating but I'm going to hold off on telling you the score until after I read you the review. Now, there is a reason for that, but I guess you're just going to have to stick around and find out. But my question to you is, were you a big fan of Mission Impossible from the beginning, or did it kind of have to build as the story was told? Now, being in now in 2023 and looking back to 1996, I mean, this was 27 years ago, and as you can imagine, the characters have developed a lot over that, and you'll kind of understand that a bit in my scoring. Like I said, we'll get to that towards the end. But you'll, it'll make a lot more sense after I read to you the review. Now, if you have never seen any of the Mission Impossible movies, I think it's important to understand them, especially for the new one that just came out for Dead Reckoning, part one. They, it touches on something from each of the other movies. So if you go see Dead Reckoning and you're maybe confused, it may be because you need to go back and maybe rewatch the other ones. But I want to go right into my, the original review that was on MovieDeputy.com, so I'm going to jump right in with that. A mole has infiltrated the IMF. That's the Impossible Missions Force. That's kind of what that stands for, and it kind of is explained a little bit more as the movie, but let's go again. I just wanted to kind of explain that. A mole has infiltrated the IMF. The future is now at stake. How deep did the infiltration go? The only way to find out is to answer an impossible question. Ethan and his team are trying to do just that. When they run into some difficulties, some truths present themselves. These truths will change everything. This team is not what it once was, and what lies ahead could never be expected. All in pursuit of a list. Sounds simple, doesn't it? It's never that easy. This could have had so much promise. From the trailers, this had all the markings of something great. It fell far short of that mark. Throughout the story, there were multiple errors in plot and character. The action scenes and explosions on screen brought it to life, but only briefly. It seems as there could be more to it, even a possible sequel. But since most sequels don't live up to the first, it's hard to imagine it getting much worse. The actors and actresses routinely fell out of character. The plot was weak, and what we got was far short of the idea presented. Take it as you will. We can hope that they only get better as they've already hit rock bottom. Now, like I said, that was the review on MovieDeputy.com that I wrote 300 words or less, no spoilers. And yeah, I was harsh, but honestly, I reviewed these movies in the order that I watched them. Now, obviously, Movie Deputy's only nine years old, so I didn't time travel back to 1996, but what I did is I watched the Mission Impossible movies in order at the time that I reviewed them because I didn't want to get ahead of myself in the story. I kind of wanted to follow it as it went. And after this first one, I was like, why would they have even... At that point, I was aware that there were other Mission Impossible movies, obviously. But I was just kind of asking myself, why did they even bother? And so that now I'm going to go ahead and explain my score. The score that I gave the original Miss Mission... <laughs> can't talk. The original Mission Impossible was only a 4 out of 10. Now, on the movie deputy scale, that is watchable but forgettable, and honestly, this one completely fit that bill. I was just recently trying to go back through some of my notes and just like, I was trying to refresh my memory on this one, and honestly, I don't even remember it, so I'm going purely off the review that I had written right after I watched it, and this was, I guess I... According to this, I last, I, I reviewed this in December of 2020. So it, it had been a while since the movie had came out, but I was just, <laughs> I just could not have imagined what would have made them want to move forward from there. But obviously there was a fan base. Obviously they did make more movies. It's just, it, it's just surprising with as far short as this one fell in basically every category. It's like the trailers, I mean, they hyped you up. It's like one of those movies where all of the good stuff was in the trailers, and then you actually get around to watch again, and you're like, huh? <laughs> that was literally my reaction. 
<laughs> on that. I even made a note to that that it was like that's like it just left me scratching my head. But I hope that this has helped and stay tuned tomorrow for Mission Impossible 2. Bye-bye.